How you doing? Great, how are you? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have here? This is a, uh, an antique prank device for secret societies. So what now? All I heard was secret societies. Well, in the immortal words of Groucho Marx, I'd never belong to a club that would have me as a member. <laughs> <laughs> Ditto. I have an antique Dumoulin Brothers prank device. I got this device at a garage sale. I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but I knew I needed to have it, and I got it for a great deal. I'm looking to get $3,000 for my antique device. So what exactly is this? So this is uh, <laughs> electric branding iron. But it's a prank, so it's not, you don't actually brand somebody, you pretend to brand them as a way of initiating them into uh, the like, like a society. Like a fraternity? Like a fraternity or prank. Right, this yes. is great. Yeah, so this shows you the whole setup of what they would be doing, and then a little description of how the prank works along with the pricing. I get it. Yeah. You're, you're gonna get the secret brands from... Your the, friends. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get the secret brand to be part of the club. Um, I mean, I'm just thinking, how? You must really, really, really want to be in this club if you're willing to get branded. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> you know, there's always been secret societies and fraternal organizations. I mean, the Masons have been around forever. They were huge in the United States. But um, in the late 1800s, tons of them start popping up, like Elks Lodge, uh, Moose Lodge, Buffalo Lodge, the Odd Bellows. Uh, we should start the Pond Lodge. And we won't let Corey in. No Corys? No Corys. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much you want for it? I'm looking for three thousand dollars. Yeah. I mean, the thing. I, mean, the, I know it doesn't look it, like a lot, but in the catalog, it's fifteen bucks. Yeah. Well, that was nineteen thirty <laughs> inflation. <laughs> um, to tell you the truth, I have no idea what it's worth, but I know a guy who will. Perfect. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, his hair looks even more electrocuted than yours. Um, <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me, I'm going to call him. Just take off for Thanks. a few minutes. I feel great about having an expert come in because it'll just verify the rarity of this item and how cool it really is. Hey, guys. Murray. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. How you doing? You well? Yeah. I love the hair. Thanks. My God, a guy who's got better hair than me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it. This looks like one of the, the old branding irons they used to do, use in the secret societies. This is great. <laughs> The subject would um, be in the room, and they'd see an iron like this, or a metal iron in or over an oven burning, to create the illusion that, wow, that's hot. Then you get blindfolded, then they take it behind you, and they don't realize you're switching it out for this little small wooden electronic plate thing. So mentally, you thought you were actually branded. In reality, you were just shocked by this, yeah. and then the mask was taken off, it was disclosed that it was just a prank. Does it, can we see if this actually works? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Can we brand you, chum? Why not? Better not shock me hard. Pull your sleeve up. <laughs> Don't do it in your sleeve? Sure. OK, so you can actually see it work. Yeah. So you hold this against your skin. I'll hold it. OK. And then I'll get the thing charged up, and then it'll produce. Now, if it does shock you, don't smack me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even happen. It, it not did. Even happen. No, it did yes, not. it did. No. You <laughs> did. I think I'm getting sick, Rick. I'm gonna have to go home. Right <laughs> so the cool thing that this works with this is amazing, because this thing is you know way over 100 years old. Yeah, you know what I mean? so. So what's it worth? Well, um, because this works. This is a huge factor. The value of this is between twenty two, twenty four hundred dollars. Thanks, man. So there you go. Thanks. Right. Hey, good hey. luck, all right? Thank you, sir. All right, take care. Have a good day, man. Take care. So, um, how much you want now? Um, well, I, I still think his estimate's kind of low, a little bit, um, because, I mean, it's over 100 years old. Um, I'm still thinking, you know, closer to three. Um, just because something old doesn't make it worth more. It's just, it's <laughs> desirability. You know, it, Murray knows his stuff. And if he says it's worth 2,400 bucks, that's probably what it's worth. So, um, I'll give you 1,200 bucks. Mm, no, I gotta hold tight. For me to let go of it, I'm, it, it would have to be much, much higher. I'll go as high as 1,500. Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be three. It's gotta be. Okay, well, change your mind. Great. Happy branding. Great, thanks. <laughs>